Hi boys and girls, today we're going to draw a picture of a bird. You're going to need white paper, a black sharpie, a pencil with a good eraser, and a variety of colorful crayons. So let's get started. Get all your supplies and let's get ready. You're going to start by getting your paper landscape. Draw a straight line right in the middle of your paper. Just like that. And then underneath, we're going to draw a curved line to make a semicircle. Semicircle is half a circle. You can see that right there, that's half a circle. We're going to draw a regular circle for the head up at the top. Don't worry if it's not perfectly round, it's fine. For the beak, we're going to draw two triangles. Okay. Now we're going to draw the eye, big circle, a smaller circle on the inside. The next part is we're going to start on the wing. Draw a line straight in the middle of the body with a curve, looks like a candy cane, another curve, a third curve, and go straight up. It looks like a heart that's turned sideways with three bumps. Now the tail, we're going to use triangles. One big triangle, another smaller triangle that touches the middle triangle, and a third triangle that touches the middle one too. They look like, it looks like a backward seven. The next part are the legs. A number one straight down, with three little number ones connected. And another leg straight down, with three little number ones connecting. And now we have our bird. Let's draw the ground. And I'm gonna make my ground kind of wavy. Usually the ground is not perfectly flat. Okay. Now I'm going to add some flowers to my picture. Start with the stem. I made it wavy and then a circle for the center of the flower. Okay, make a space between there and then I'm going to draw petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you should be able to get about seven. Draw a straight line out for the leaf and a curved line to the middle. Go back to the top and make another curved line to the middle. And then straight line, curved line, curved line. Now I'm going to go to the other side, make a stem, make the center of the flower, and then I'm going to draw my petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straight line out the leaf. Curve line to the top, curve line to the top, straight line out for the leaf, curve line to the top, curve line. There we go. Now I'm going to draw some clouds, center my paper a little bit, and I'm going to make mine bumpy, but you can make yours however you want. So there's one cloud, and I think I'll put one more here up here at the top. Two clouds, and I just bump, bump bump and connect. And then I'm going to add a sun, so I'll need a circle because the sun is round. Round and oop, bumped into the cloud. I'm going to make my sunbeams or my sun rays, however you want to call them. Come them straight out from the sun. You can put as many as you want. You can even add a smiley face to your sun if you wanted to. Okay? So there's that for our bird. Now I'm going to need to get my Sharpie and I'm going to trace all the pencil lines. Okay, so here I go. Trace my eye, okay. and the head, and the beak, and the body. It's funny right now, you boys and girls probably can't hear it, but there's all kinds of birds tweeting out of my yard right now. It's just a really nice time of year. You know, trace the wing because you can hear all the birds singing and they're in their nests. A lot of them have laid eggs and they're starting um, their bird families. And legs. So we're just tracing all of our pencil lines right now, just like we do each time. 
And if you get off the line, it's totally fine, no big deal. This just gives you an idea of where to draw your lines. So just copy as best you can, get off the lines, no problem. If I'm going too fast, you can pause the video. Oops, see there, I got off a couple lines and that's no big deal because we're going to color over them. So if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video until you get caught up and then you can push play again and continue on. That's the cool thing about videos is that you can stop and start them whenever you want. So I'm going to trace my petals and my leaves. Let's see. Do my clouds. Yep, cut off the line. That's okay. Remember, Mrs. R always says the cool thing about art is that it's not perfect and you just do the best you can. And each piece of artwork is an individual thing that you've made. And so it's not going to look like mine, it's going to look like your art. Okay. So there we go. I think I've got all of my lines done that I want. So now I need to start picking some colors for my bird. Hmm. I think I will start with a blue. This is called Bluebell. Bluebells are flowers. They're little tiny flowers that look like bells. That's why they call them bluebells and they're blue. Really pretty. So I'm gonna color my bird in with Bluebell. Okay, I'm going to color the body. And remember at any time if your hand starts to get tired, you can always take a pause, pause the video, um, put your crayon down, shake out your hands. And, you know, uh, the more we practice coloring, the stronger our fingers get and it makes it easier for handwriting too. So, Mrs. Roderick talks about, I talked about sometimes when we color, we do our best to try to color the same direction if we're coloring um, something. Try to color the same direction, it always looks nicer. When I get to these curved spaces, sometimes I, I color in bubbles, I'll go around and around and around to get all the spots. Okay, let's see here, so I've got the body. Oh, you know what, I forgot to sharpie the eye. So I'm gonna get my sharpie and color that eye in black, there we go. And let's see, what am I going to color next? Hmm. Oh, I know. Mm, no, that's not the right color. That was pink. I don't want that color. I want something orange. Ooh, how about neon carrot? Neon. That would have been a perfect color for our um, glow crazy day. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to color in my flower and I'm going to use that one is called mulberry. It's kind of a shade of pink, which is a shade of red, actually. Okay, and then I'm going to color in my leaves on my plant. I'm going to use Tropical Rainforest. This is a shade of green. It's really pretty. Okay, and then for my other... Oh, my God, these leaves in too. My other one... I'm going to use a cranberry, I think. And you guys know what cranberries are. Those are those red, kind of uh, brick red berries that we have. Sometimes we have cranberry sauce um, during Thanksgiving. Or um, dried cranberries, craisins, I think is what they're called. I'm sure you guys have had them before. They're a berry that grows um, in something called a cranberry bog. And when they harvest those, they flood the entire field and then they float up to the top and then they catch them. I'm going to color the center as dandelion. Dandelion is a weed, but actually some people actually like to eat them. I'm going to color in my sun. Dandelion is a bright yellow. I really like that. Every time I color in the sun, I always think about our book that we read this year, The Day the Crowns Quit, how the yellow and orange always thought about who was the color of the sun. Orange thought he was the color of the sun. And yellow thought he was the color of the sun. It's like, got mad at each other and we're fighting. Who that say? Okay, I'm gonna color in the clouds next. And I'm gonna use a shade called Midnight Blue. 
It's kind of a smoky blue. It's really pretty. It's amazing all these different colors we have, isn't it? All these different shades of blue. It's not just one color of blue. Probably get a million shades if we wanted to. So color all this in midnight blue. Really nice color. I don't know if I've ever used this color before. I really like it though. And you can see I got all the lines a little bit. And that's okay. And then I slow down around the corners so I can get all these little spots I might have missed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to my other one. The other clown, give it a color. And see when I get around to these rounded edges, I kind of draw in circles or color in circles. You notice I'll go round and round and round. It seems for me anyway easier to color in those little spots if I go around in circles when I color something that's round. Okay, let me get these little spots I missed. Almost there. Okay. Now I need to find a color for my grass. And I think this is perfect. The mountain meadow. A meadow is just a big field of grass, isn't it? So I'm going to color this in. Perfect color for our grass. This is the big coloring part. So if your hand gets tired, just put your hand down, shake, 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 shake your hand out, your hands, either one, and then start again. The more you practice your art, the better you're going to get at it, and then pretty soon you'll be able to remember how to draw these things without even watching the video. And then you'll go to first grade, and the teachers will say, wow. You know how to draw all these different things. You're such an artist, which you guys really are. Very, very good artists. I've seen some beautiful art this year. So a little bit more. The corners are kind of tricky to do. The edges. I just slow down when I get to the edges because I don't want to color on the table, so I just take my time. Okay. So or in any spots that I think are too white. And there we go. So there is our bird. Looks great. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Good job, everybody.